Hi. Now, what we've got here then is this figure that shows part of this curve C with parametric equations x equals 1 minus a half t and y equals 2 to the power t minus 1. And we're told that the curve crosses the y-axis at the point A and it crosses the x-axis at the point B. And what we've got to do is find an equation of the normal to the curve C at the point A. So if you haven't done this already and like to have a go, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how we get this normal at A. Well, first of all, let's just draw that normal in. It's going to look, say, something like that. And being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. And we need x1, y1, the coordinates of A. Well, we can get that very easily just by saying that we know that x equals 0 at this point here. So we know that at A, x equals 0. And if x equals 0, it follows that we've got 0 equals 1 minus a half t. And if we add half t to both sides, half t would equal 1, multiply by 2, and you end up with t equaling 2. We can get the corresponding y value now just by substituting t equals 2 into here. 2 to the power 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3. So it follows then that y equals 3. So our coordinate then is 0, 3. Now we need to get the gradient of the normal and we can use the perpendicular gradient rule that uh, once we've got the gradient of the tangent here we just do the negative reciprocal of it. But to get the gradient of the tangent we need to find dy by dx. So to get dy by dx, let's just put it down here, dy by dx, we're going to need to use the chain rule. Chain rule being that dy by dx is dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. It's as if these two dt's cancel out, just leaving us with dy over dx. All right? Now, to get dy by dt, first of all, we're going to need to differentiate 2 to the power t minus 1. But 2 to the power t, how do we differentiate that? Well, you should be familiar with this particular rule that you'll often see in formula books and uh, it is differentiating with respect to x a to the power x. a is a constant, right? The result is a to the power x multiplied by the natural log of a. So uh, I'll just box that off there. As I say, a result that you'll generally see in formula books, but if not, it's a good idea just to commit it to memory. So for us here, if we differentiate 2 to the power t, then what we get back is 2 to the power t multiplied by the natural log of 2. And the differential of 1, well, that's 0. OK, so that's dy by dt. Next, we need to get dt by dx. But in order to do this, we find dx by dt, and then we invert it. So dx by dt. Well, differential of 1 is 0, differential of minus a half t is equal to minus a half. So therefore, what we've got is dt by dx equals minus 2, if we invert it. So using these results, what we can do then is get dy by dx. It's equal to dy by dt, so we've got that. It's 2 to the power t multiplied by the natural log of 2. We'll put that in brackets. And now we're going to multiply by dt dx, which is negative 2. And if we work this out, we've got negative, And you've got 2 to the power t times essentially 2 to the power 1. So you can add your powers here, and you've got 2 to the power t plus 1, and that's multiplied by the natural log 
of 2. Okay, so we're now getting closer to being able to work out then the equation of our normal. We need to get the gradient now of the normal. So we can find the gradient of the tangent at this point. We know that when t equals 2, okay, at a, we've got that dy by dx is going to equal 2 to the power 2 plus 1, 2 to the power 3, which is 8. We've got a negative in front of this, so we're going to have minus 8 multiplied by the natural log of 2. So that means that therefore the gradient of that normal, we'll just put gradient of normal, well it's going to be the negative reciprocal of this, so that's going to be equal to 1 over 8 multiplied by the natural log of 2. So therefore we've got everything we need now to get the equation of the normal. Okay, so just write a brief subtitle here. Equation of normal at A is, and using this format here, it's going to be y minus y1, y1 is 3, equals the gradient, which is 1 over 8 multiplied by the natural log of 2 and then that is multiplied by x minus x1. Well, x1 is 0, so we just got to multiply it by x. So there's your equation. You can leave it like that. It said find an equation of the normal to see at the point A. You could, I suppose, add 3 to both sides and get y equals 1 over 8 natural log 2 multiplied by x plus 3. Okay, 